In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome way to add a fake skyline to your footage right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get right into it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add some buildings to your skyline shot right inside of Adobe After Effects. So once you've got After Effects open and you have an image and a video imported, we can begin. So as you can see, I've got this footage the camera is panning from right to left, the camera is a little bit shaky and then on top of that we've got this really basic static shot of some buildings. Now it's really important that this shot is taken from the same perspective. If you have a photo looking up to skyscrapers and you try and place that on top of a footage which is taken from a higher angle, the two are not going to go together, it's going to look really obviously fake. So make sure they're shot from very similar perspectives. Now from here, we need to go ahead and analyze the footage. So we'll go into the 3D camera tracker inside of the effects and presets tab. And we'll drop that on top of the footage. Now we'll just let the computer do its thing for a few minutes. The computer is going to analyze the camera's movement and generate some tracking points for us. So once that's finished, you'll notice all of these really colorful tracking points on our footage and it's up to us to select a tracking point to create a brand new camera or null object from. So we're gonna hover over part of the image and when you see a red target that works for you, right click that target and go down to create null and camera. Now from here, we'll drag the image of the skyscrapers up to the very top and we're going to make sure this is a 3D layer. So press the 3D box and that's going to convert that to a 3D layer. And by doing that, it means it's going to perfectly stick to our null objects that we just created. So basically this shot of the skyscrapers is now going to perfectly stick to the camera's movement. Now from here, we just want to decrease the scale of this image and we just want to rotate this a little bit and make sure that the horizon in this image perfectly matches the horizon in our original footage. So that line should be perfectly following the line of the original footage. And if we play this back, you'll see that footage is perfectly sticking with our video. That looks really awesome. I'm really happy with that. So from here, we can now begin to isolate the buildings from this image. And in order to do this, we need to create a mask. So we'll go up to the pen tool. We'll select that image and we're just gonna draw a mask around the outside of the buildings that we want to add to our shot. Now, once you've done that, we need to reposition this footage and we need to try and find a point in our video where we want to place this. Now you can decrease, increase the scale. You can move this from left to right, up and down. Just try and match these skyscrapers up to your footage to somewhere where they look natural. And now once you're happy with that, we need to go ahead and we need to match the color of the image to the color of our footage. So in effects and presets, we'll search for curves and we'll drop curves onto the image. Now in my example, I'm just going to increase the exposure in the shadow. So I'm going to pull up the bottom left, pull that up a little bit. We'll change the channel to red and we'll increase the midtones in the red. So we just add a bit more red there. We'll increase the exposure in the midtones on the green just by pulling this up a little bit. And that looks really believable. So from here, we just need to let the computer render out the video. And as soon as that's completed rendering, we can watch this footage back. And there you go. That is how you add buildings to your footage right inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to subscribe to see more. Click this box if you want to see the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.